Bonsoir. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's truly amazing. Oh, well, we just uh, concluded our, our, our last day in France. Potentially, we're just, we're, we're looking at flight changing times and, and stuff, just in case. Just in case. I mean, it's, it's, it's a long shot, but you know. It's hard because we got off to such a rough start on the trip that we're kind of like, oh, now that we're just starting to get into the swing of things, let's go home. So, exactly. um, so you know, we're just going to see what it's like, but it's probably not going to happen. But Yeah, like we don't have our hopes up, but yeah, we have to at least look because like what if we got home and we heard about this amazing deal and I don't know. I don't yeah. know. And we were like, oh, wow. Yeah. So anyway, um, we had a lovely dinner out at the Faubourg 34. Don't even ask me how to say it in French because I get confused with the counting. Um, and I'm thinking that doesn't happen until 60 or something or 80. I don't remember when the counting becomes confusing, but I've never mastered it. So 34. That's what we did for dinner, but tell them what we did today. Today we went to Galleries Lafayette. Yay! And it's we like, shopping. oh, it's just so beautiful in there. Like, I mean, and when I say beautiful, I mean like architecturally beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, totally. oh, I think I'm covering the mic. Hold on. Rah, there. Um, I mean, we're talking stained glass dome ceiling, marble floors, and oh my God, like incredible balconies. I, I took so many pictures just of the mall itself. And then it was filled with beautiful things. So it was sort of overwhelming. And, and honestly, I wonder how many words do French people have for beauty? Cause they need more than like a couple. Yeah, you know how Eskimos have like a hundred words for snow or two hundred words for yeah, exactly. snow or something. It's exactly. like there must be yeah. yeah, exactly. Like what kind of beauty is that? I don't know. It's just amazing beauty. Maybe that's why they came up with the concept of chic. Speaking of chic, we bought some stuff. Yes. <laughs> so we started out. Um, we both picked out some really beautiful scarves that yeah. are lovely, and they have like the same pattern, but they're different colors. Should we go get them? No. Okay. We can wear them. Maybe we can do a wrap up. Or we're wearing them. Yeah. And I'll stop. No, don't say it. Don't I won't. say it. Don't say it. I won't. Say it. I won't. Uh, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we kind of wandered over and there's like the beauty section. So it's like, uh, you know, makeup and accessories and ow. Sorry. Ow. Fuck. That earring really hurt. Okay. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, perfume, different things like that. And so there was um, a Killian station that I was like I really wanted to smell Killian perfumes and um maybe there are some in Seattle I don't know but I've just never like run across one and I've heard about them I've heard that they're really amazing and so um I was like oh can we go over here and smell them you know mm. and um I smelled the one I can't remember the name of it right now but I absolutely fell in love with it and it was rose something there was rose in the yeah name. there's like rose and plum and some other things it's just it smells absolutely like, amazing it smells like lilacs and fresh laundry pretty much yeah, with so some good. rose and plum and vanilla notes yeah it's to die for and i was like oh my gosh i really like that so she sprayed um the gal that was helping us was so nice and she sprayed a little bit on the cards so that we could kind of you know see what they smelled like and everything and then when i sort of settled on one i put a little bit on my skin and i really liked the way that it warmed up a little bit and um so i decided uh my husband keith was like do a treat yourself day you know and he was like do something fun you know like get a nice something that you don't really see at home or can get at home or whatever and um, so I was like, oh, I think maybe this perfume would be good because last, well, one of the last times I was here in Paris, I got a Thierry Mugler perfume that I loved and, um, I didn't use the whole thing and it, you know, it's not very good anymore, but I still love the bottle and the packaging it came in. And so I keep it cause it's like a memory of being in France. And so it's the same thing with this and, uh, just fell in love with it. And then we went upstairs and we were wandering around. It's all clothing upstairs. And yeah. most of it was 
exorbitantly expensive and some of it was hilarious. There were purses with Legos on them and purses that were furry with big googly eyes. There was one that had like a chicken on the little like emblem yeah. thing. It I took a picture of that one because they looked like really serious purses. They totally were. And then it was like weird, you know, like it'd be like having Daffy Duck on your purse. It was very odd. Yeah, but the purse is like a, a Birkin bag. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of a thing. Um, and I saw this jumpsuit. It was like a strapless black jumpsuit and I just was like I think Sonia would look pretty amazing in this so and she was was right I was like like, hey um mm, mm, and mm. I was kind of hesitant because I was like I don't know like I'm a little curvy for a jumpsuit but Reagan has a jumpsuit and it looks great on her and um I was worried it would be way too expensive too but it was less than 200 euros it was about uh it was like 130 euros actually yeah so it wasn't like crazy expensive um, and I tried it on and I loved it. I loved it so much. It looks oh. Amazing on her. It's like so well tailored and it looks perfect. It's like it's like made for her body. It is so amazing. Oh, I can't wait to put it on again. And like we put the little scarves that we bought, you know, up to it and everything. And we were just like, oh my gosh, this could be really versatile. It's beautiful. Mm. And I mean, what a nice little, you know, kind of and it's a French shop. Like mm. Carol is a French <laughs> it's Paris store. I know she laughs at the it's, name. It's funny because they have so many shops that are just somebody's name. There's like a Jeff and Pete and like Greg. Like there's yeah, like just, yeah. So, <laughs> but she looks amazing in it. It's it's awesome. And so, um, you know, we kind of we kind of thought, well, this is something that's very special. Mm. And I mean, I've just never really seen a jumpsuit that looks like this. So. I couldn't find um, any in the States, and I, I was looking for a while. Yeah, because we thought about it for the wedding, actually. Yeah. That was sort of one idea. Um, so that was really cool. And then um, we went up, up a little bit more, and there was, like, the lingerie section, and um, there were some fun little things up there, so I, I picked out a little something for my husband. It's a gift for him. Yeah. And then we went all the way upstairs, and there was, like, this rooftop terrace that overlooks the city, and um, yes, you there's can, a little bar there. You can see the Opera House and the Eiffel Tower from this, like, super chic bar. It was, like, the Côte d'Azur type style, yep. you know, chill music playing in the background and big umbrella wicker chair kind of bar. Yeah. We took a vlog there, too, so we'll publish that after this. Exactly. Um... So we just had a nice little kind of like chill afternoon, kind of hung out there for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then um, we came back to the place and just kind of dropped some stuff off. And then we decided to go to dinner and we went to dinner at that amazing little restaurant tonight. That was really fun. Yeah. Another place, like just like the last time we went out for dinner, it was like two blocks away or something like that. I mean, it's like a short walk. Reagan picked this district and all we have to do is just like wander around to find a nice place to eat. And I love it. Yes. I love it so much. Food is the best thing ever. We had flambe crepe for That's dessert. True, we did. And I had, you know, canard for dinner because not only is it my other favorite French word from pomplemousse, it is. <laughs> it is also one of my favorite foods. Yes. <laughs> so. And I had a poulet, which is chicken, mm. and we each had frites and salad. Mao. Mm-hmm. Well, I ate your salad, mostly. Yeah, it had kind of a creamy dressing on it, so I sort of passed on that. But well, you missed out because it was delicious. But we had fun. a nice bottle of wine, and then we had our flambe. Yeah, we so did. That was pretty cool. We had a we had a Cote de Rhone. Cote de Rhone. Mm. Mao. Mao. It's very good. So that's pretty much how our day went. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got to pack, probably, and get ready. I mean, we're gonna double check some things, but I'm not. Like, unless there's kind of a miracle, I, I feel like we're going home in yeah. the morning, so. Yeah. But it's kind of a shame. It really does suck, because, like, you know, in the beginning, we just didn't get out as much, uh, thanks to the thumb issues, and I was on antibiotics, too. Like, the two of us, just both of us, were having some mm. some major health things the first few days that we were here so and it always takes a little bit to just kind of get settled into because of jet lag so yeah yeah once you kind of hit your stride you're like oh but those two things combined made us pretty much useless for the first few days like we just didn't get out and now we're like hitting our stride yeah exactly we have to go so it's kind of a shame and paris is just so lovely but 
It really is. Yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much what we have going on now. We have a little list of other things that we want to like discuss, but I feel like we should do that in a different video. That's kind of like... It'll be its own video and it will be called... What about lemonade? Surprise lemonade! <laughs> Surprise that's lemonade. what it's called! Surprise <laughs> yes, that's right. That was really funny. There is a, it is a surprise. Mm, surprise. You might say. <laughs> I'm psyched. So, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. There will be more Sonia and Reagan to come. Mm -hmm. But uh, we just wanted to give you a quick update on what's happening today. Guten Nacht. Gluten nacho. Gluten nacho.